shoot with people who care about you it's just people who genuinely care about you shoot with people who genuinely like you because it doesn't just like to compete in the world as if they don't care 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 about you but let your interest at that time be um, a prerequisite for them one thing i'll say i learned from the lockdown which was obviously as a result of the sad devastating illness which shouldn't be named is self-sufficiency so i'll be sharing with you tips to ensure you embark on a successful shoot as a content creator. If this is something you think will be of benefit to you or any of your friends, family, or even enemies, please share it with them. My name is Stephanie of Metro Gypsy. Welcome to my channel. your intention or motive why are you trying to make a shoot are you just trying to you know top up on the pictures you have which is a good thing are you trying to change the aesthetic of your platform be it facebook instagram tiktok whatever are you just trying to change you know the, the direction you're going also are you just trying to be i don't know therapeutic about it because i do i find taking pictures sometimes just take stress away from me even if it's quite a hectic process but just the laughter the banter when i'm doing with people it actually eases my stress so what's the reason for this shit because that would help you get a better and stronger direction to the rest of your planning next thing to consider would be what's the genre of outfits you want to wear this video is obviously for people who are in fashion content creation or people who be probably style people who do fashion so yeah so what's the genre do you want is it something casual is it something dressy is it something formal are you trying to dress according to the season are you doing a how to style content are you doing a color themed content what are you exactly trying to achieve number one and number two thinking and just writing these things down or realizing them in your head will help you for number three once you know the reason you're trying to do this shoot you know how you want to dress you know for this shoot the next thing is what location is appropriate for this shoot so for location just look at your favorite people wherever your your city is just look at what they are doing where they are taking their pictures and then you also think what vibe am i trying to um, create what what do i want people to feel when they see the picture because that determines a lot of things just where you're actually standing to take a picture no matter how beautiful your outfit is how beautiful your smile is can make or mar your picture so your location is a really really important aspect of your planning and obviously how to get there the rules around the place if you want inspiration click the location on facebook on google on pinterest on instagram and just see how people move around that location so that you would know um you know how you're going to be placing yourself and where you're going to be placing yourself once you get there number four which is obviously very very important is deciding your looks so obviously you already know okay yes i'm going for what i say let's say business casual looks for this shoot put your outfits together if obviously you're a content creator so this should be something you're actually bringing to the table but if for some reason you're in a drought spell or you're uninspired go on social media Pinterest is just like just like Google with like more pictures. But I don't say more pictures. I don't know. Go on Pinterest, search for the outfit genre you're trying to go for so you get styling tips. Go on Instagram. Some people might have put the hashtag of that genre. Go there. But then again, that should actually be your contribution to the shoot. So write your items one by one. The pieces you're going to wear down to your accessories, guys. Down to your earrings. Down to your bracelets, your neck pieces, your footwear. Write everything down. After writing these things down, take pictures of them. Trust me, when you are in your house, comfortable planning for a shoot, you feel so, ah, when I get there, I'll wear this earring now. I'll wear, by the time you get on set, you would feel so tired. Like, some things would just be skipping your head. You might even have carried something in your bag or in one corner of your bag or is inside one of the purses you're going to use to photograph and you just forget that comb. I'm supposed to wear this. Take pictures of your items that are not even plain because even writing them down sometimes you might know, but that picture right there, by the time you're shooting, you just look at okay, look one, you see the earring, you see the shoe, everything you know, you're just wearing it, you're just getting ready, you're shooting. So make sure you decide your outfits and take them pictures and then put them in bags separately. So look one is in this bag, look two is in this bag. If you can even change the colors of the bags better, so you'll be more efficient and faster. But if you can't, fine, put everything in one bag. But at least you know once you take this bag, it has the shoe, the jewelry. If you even want to wear fragrance <laughs> for that particular look, it has it. Trust me, it will make your shoes go seamless. So the sixth one is actually packing so it's kind of like the fifth one i said for the fifth one you decide the outfits for the sixth one pack them like a professional <laughs> pack them like a pro when you're even packing another thing 
carry a box that has more space than you need there's nothing like when you're you finish shooting one look, you'll not be folding and folding and pressing and you know pushing one box down. No, let it be looking crazy. Don't look crazy on the road, but better carry a big box than a box that is too small where you have to be pressing your knee to you know close it up when you're trying to change locations and stuff. Trust me, tested and tried. And that thing about the big box is that if you, you're taking a stand, you can always easily enter a lighting. Uh, natural light is the best shot. So <laughs> with your stand and stuff, you can always easily enter your bigger bag or box. Please take a box that can be rolled because carrying something on your shoulder, well, if you have a car, fine. But just in case you don't, take a box that rolls silently, not those noisy ones like you're passing someone's neighborhood, you're making noise. So take a box that rolls silently. The box I usually use is one of the boxes we use whenever we're moving houses. It's actually not, it's, it's red and all, but it's not fancy, fancy. But I just love it because it's so quiet, so silent. It's closed, it opens, it has a trolley. You know, it's just perfect for shooting, in my own opinion. I don't want to start ruining my boxes, but when I'm ready to travel, I'm not going to spoil my boxes on the road, you know, creating content. Yeah, so just make sure you take something that's really spacious that can take all your separate bags together. Number seven, which is very important as well, dress comfortably. You're leaving your house, it might be autumn, it might be winter, your house is so warm, and uh, you're thinking the whole world is warm. You now come out with your skimpy jacket, trying to make younger, as my friend Demi would say. No, wear your thickest jacket. Just be comfortable, especially if you're not driving or you're not going to shoot in the studio. Be comfortable. Your footwear flats, footwear flats, carry all your boots, your heels, your mega heels, put them in your box. But you, while you're moving from location to location, change your outfit to outfit, be very comfortable. If you can even take a slippers just so that you help you in between the looks while you're changing and, you know, take the slippers. Number eight is your vibe. Guys, vibe is so important. Personally, if you're shooting alone, listen to music or whatever it is that makes you happy. If you want to eat too much food to go, personally, I don't like to eat when I'm shooting, especially in the mornings, so that, you know, your tummy is on point and stuff. But if you need food music whatever it is you need just put yourself in a very good mood you don't want to be agitated while you're shooting and rushing everything you plan to do so beautifully another thing if you're shooting with someone be careful i've shot with people who they are kind of selfish with everything because they can't create they're also fellow content creators maybe you guys are taking pictures of each other you see that they're not even bending down to get your angles they're not even like literally i've come back home and hobby was like oh, what's this thing on your hair did your friend see it things like that be careful, like, shoot with people who care about you. People that why you're posing, they're telling you, ah, no, pose that way. Ah, no, that works. That this shoe, this earring, you know, at least just a bit of opinion. Or when you even ask, you know, they give you, you don't ask. They're just people who genuinely care about you. People who can even say, okay, let's say, like, the other day I was shooting, I was so frustrated because my remote control for my phone wasn't working. You know, and someone just came like, let me help you take these pictures. Don't worry, we use our, but you know, just shoot with people who genuinely like you because a lot of people just like to compete in the world to get so yeah that is so important your vibe and the vibe of the person you're shooting with if you're shooting with friends if it's not a photographer even some photographers are even so grumpy the way they would not be rushing as if you know you're not paying them or i don't know they don't they're doing things the people you're choosing just let it be that they have your interest at heart even if they don't care 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 about you but let your interest at that time be um, a prerequisite for them the next thing is research your poses it helps while you're shooting alone you're shooting alone. if you're not shooting a photographer it's actually more important because you just it gives them an idea of what you want because you can be telling a photographer i want a sitting shot they don't know the angle but when you bring a sitting shot with an angle of 75 degrees they would understand i know it looks like too much doing too much but go and research the poses you would want at least for one look at least two poses the rest of them freestyle according to you but just somebody that even good at posing so as well even if you're very good in posing you now be dead the day you're shooting for so researching poses and saving them in your saved items or just screen grab and put in a folder for this particular shoot totally helps you next thing is to go ahead kill your shoots have fun create content be more productive than you even anticipated and just generally have a good time don't forget to smile in your photos lots of times i tell myself well, i look better when i'm bony but when i'm now checking pictures like, why am i angry why am i do you get smiling some bony and some just be versatile with everything and just have fun once you're on your way home just try and have a look at the pictures even if sometimes i know i finished shooting i don't want to look at pictures again until the next one week no just calm down Put all the pictures in an album in your phone, first of all, just for organized thinking and brain arranging sense, just just for the sake of being very organized, put everything in one album, then in your spare time, you can just 
select the ones you want to use for real the one you want to use for youtube the one you want to use for instagram just select them in different albums as well and delete as much as possible things that just annoy you when you see those mistakes you made delete them quickly from your phone just so that you have a fresh and happy vibe the next time you look at your pictures so the last but not the least bonus tip is um, a tip i got from the last time i went to shoot in somewhere in london so we actually came with the mind of we're going to take each other pictures because sometimes someone has a camera or a nicer camera and you guys just have to do that as we got there you know both of us had our phones we both had our stands and we just started taking pictures together and it was just lovely and not time wasting like we go to the same location set up on different angles snapping now oh, this that looks good that looks good i'm tired of this place so this lighting is better come on stay here you know shooting your content you know yourself with your angles and the tripod and the remote that bluetooth remote are things you cannot do without like it's part of the starter pack of being a content creator because you can literally jump you can do shots because you know when to click on like when there's a photographer they say okay one two three jump you'll be jumping the photographer is still you know but with the remote you can do so much like i am such a convert uh, you know for the remote i'm just an advocate for a bluetooth remote and a phone stand so the phone stand can obviously keep your phone vertical or horizontal you can use it to film videos like i'm doing now i've lost my camera guys and then you can use it to create content beautifully outside so that's something i would say is a bonus tip and you should make sure you get it so thank you so much for staying up to this part of the video this top is by femlux i'll put the link in the description box amazing people who make the most comfortable wear to be honest i actually wear femlux jumpers and hoodies when i'm going to shoot because they're so comfortable fluffy this is a dressy top and i can't wait to rock it but i want to show you guys first good luck with your next content creation session and see you on the next episode bye bye Thank you.